Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It is, of course, our Tuesday cook-along, and we are cooking in this kitchen. It is quite intense. There's so much going on. We, of course, have our fabulous chefs. And a rock star, Francois Van Kook, is definitely... He's getting into it. You, you suit being in the kitchen, by the way. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I chopped the cucumber. Yeah, good job. Now, this bechamel sauce is looking absolutely incredible. This recipe is delicious, and if you want this, uh, this recipe sent directly to your phone, all you need to do is SMS the keyword Woolworths to double three six five zero. SMS is one round fifty each and free SMS do not apply. I have to tell you, this is the first time in my life that I've done one of these white sauces and it's come out so perfectly smooth and not clumpy. It looks so good. must I take it off the it's heat perfect. already? What do you reckon? Take I it off the heat? You can actually yeah, yeah, yeah. start assembling mm -hmm. the lasagna. Overdone let me already. Do this. Let me take it from you. Okay. We wouldn't want you to get your hands dirty. We I'll bring it to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So that we don't burn. And then, Francois, you've done a pretty do good job with your cucumber okay, there. Cool, I can just perfect. put it straight on the yes, thing. Yes, please. It's not going to burn. So it's not going to burn. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jeannie. Pleasure, doll. Um, what is mine? <laughs> yours is the salad. Cool. So what you can do now is just start assembling the salad for us. I've awesome. got the dough already put into our quinoa. So That's you can good. just mix that together into the bowl. And then add the other elements, which is our, our cucumber, as well as the tomatoes. Cool. The, and then after that, this goes into the lasagna. So okay. you'll do the salad one. I'll just do that. the lasagna. Cool. Perfect. I can do this. All right. Perfect. And now what are we up to? Uh, we're this, making a tuna cabbage, okay. which is a perfect dish for load shedding. Oh yeah, because we don't need electricity for yeah, it. Yeah. I love it. Okay, how do we get started with this? Uh, I've got the onions, I've yeah. got the tomatoes, the avo and eggs, and the... Tuna? Yes, tuna. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And what do we do? Just stick all of that together in a bowl? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. No, no, no. You can just put everything separately and then I'm going to mix everything all together. Okay. This is perfect for pescatarians yeah. and mostly people that are always on diet. That would be me. Yeah, and then they're load shedding, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this looks great. Mm -hmm. And then you can also have this for breakfast or brunch. Yeah. Or dinner, but sometimes if you don't want an egg, you can replace that with mealies. Oh, night or well, we're going to use all of it today. Sure. Okay, so we're mm -hmm. going to plate that over there. Mm -hmm. Something nice and light. Absolutely. I do enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And how do you get that fantastic shape on that finished one? Um, I used this. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And you start with your ever obviously yeah. at the bottom because it's heavier, it's heavier than everything that you're using. Yeah. This yeah. is actually quite easy. I know. Do you want me it's to mix um, that with the, the, the mayonnaise? I would already? appreciate that. Just put a spoon of that and then the um, coriander, a bit of coriander. In, the, in our mixture? Yes. Okay. I like a lot of mayo in my No, no, no. You don't need a lot. We don't need a must, lot. Because it doesn't have to be too wet. Yeah. And at the same time, yeah, that's perfect. Francois, if you don't cook, who cooks for you when you're on tour? Um, chefs in restaurants. Oh, really? Is it restaurant food <laughs> yeah, like no. and hotel food all the time? Yeah, no, never cook on the road. So when you're hungry, you just roll over and dial nine. <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, I Room heard. Room service is not bad. So you love eating meat, I heard. Yeah, like I, do, I do. And I heard that you can't eat bananas. I hate banana. Why? <laughs> when I was in primary school, I think at around standard three, yeah. um, the grossest dude in school burped a banana burp in my face, like, like this. And, oh my and word. around the same time... Who is that guy? You know, Do you I, still know him? I, I know his name. I've checked him out <laughs> on Facebook. And a teacher, around the same time, a teacher was eating banana in the class and I was being naughty or something and he pulled these hairs here on the, on the side of my... Yeah. Or next to my ear. And it made like this banana dread in my hair. <laughs> so those two things put me off banana for good. I hate banana. You've literally been traumatised yeah, by banana. Man. That is so crazy. Do you know oh, what cool. happened to me once? On the last day of school in Standard 5, the naughtiest boy in our school, I still remember his name, but I won't name and shame him, <laughs> took rotten eggs and threw rotten eggs in all the girls' hair. That is oh, not cool. Do you eat egg? 
I still do eat egg, but but I mean, I mean, it obviously was good for my hair because. Well, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> but I mean, it's crazy how like you can have these little food traumas okay. that affect you yeah, for the rest my, of your life. And my daughter loves banana, so there's banana peels all over our house <laughs> all the time, and I have to go put it in the bin. Oh shit! It's terrible. But, oh, okay. Wait, I've got your tuna. Okay. A but first tomato yes. and your corn. And then what we need to do is, for the oven not to turn dark, we need yeah. to use a bit of lemon. Okay. So that it still retains its color. Nice. And then we use a bit of corn. So I can ask you to do that. Yeah. balance yeah. all the colors and nutrients. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then squash it all in. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that we get yeah, that a good tasting dish out of this. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then tomato. It's going to go on top and of then this. Presto. Yeah. What a great dish. Mm -hmm. OK, I'm going to go and check along what you guys are doing. <gasps> this salad looks amazing. It's cool, Did eh? you do that all on your own? Yeah, damn straight. Look at you. You can cook. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Chumi, you are already layering your lasagna. Yes, and we're basically done with it now. Uh, Francia's going to add the cheese. And once that's done, we put it into the oven, and our lasagna is practically done. He's done a pretty good job with the quinoa salad, so I wonder what he's talking about. about I went for the it. big side on the grater as well. But how come is Franco is not helping me, though? <laughs> what do you, what do you shame, mean? Shame, shame. He's got the judge in the kitchen. Because I have been chopping and doing everything what do you all mean? by what myself. Do you mean? Just Chumi, I'm ready. <laughs> Boom, boom, look okay, at me great, so look at me great. We've started assembling <laughs> our amazing lasagna. We've got this incredible... I'm a great grater. Uh -huh. You are a great grater. You're, great just, you're just great overall. <laughs> you are greater. <laughs> We've got Greatest. the amazing quinoa salad. Tomato sauce is still going on. Don't know where we're using that, but it looks great. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we've got our amazing, fresh, amazing little tuna salad going on. Now, talk about protein power. If your mouth is watering just as much as mine... Mm, all you need to do, I mean, my mouth really is watering, that's how good this is. All you need to do is SMS the keyword Bullworths to 33650 to have this recipe sent to your phone. SMSs are 1 Rand 50 each. Free SMSs do not apply. And of course, no meal is complete without a sweet treat. So after the break, we're going to be making a clover olive pride ice cream with a berry compote. So we're going to be finishing all of this during the break and we'll see you ready for, with dessert right after this.